I got a Yahoo answer here that was sent in by Jack. Thanks, Jack. It's an anonymous Yahoo Answers user who I'm going to call Theodore asks, Would I get laughed at if I call the living room the drawing room and the dining room the morning room and the kitchen the scullery? Mm. I watch a lot of movies from the 40s, so I've started to pick these things up. And yes, I'm aware the living room was called the parlor, but I don't have a mansion. What? I'm so... There's, there's so many things there. Well, I mean, I would rather have a drawing room than a parlor, right? Because I, you know me, I'm always sketching something. And That's true. Yeah, so my plants, my birds. Is that why it's called the drawing room? Maybe it's more like the drawing together of new ideas. Or perhaps where you might draw cards for a game of Nah, dude, bridge. it's sketching doodles and doing for fun sketching. cartoons. Uh, yeah, people loved that shit back Downton Abbey, they were always just whipping up little, you know, ziggies. Uh, <laughs> just that little doodle where it looks like that guy with frizzy hair is poking his nose over the oh, horizon. What's his deal? What's he hiding? What's he even doing? Here's the thing that I think threw me about the further details of this question, Griffin. The question asker saying they're just picking up things like, yeah, like it's, I don't know, like you traveled abroad for two years and came back with a bit of an accent. Yeah, also the 1940s is really when these words came to power. <laughs> the 1940s during uh, you know World War II is when we really started calling shit the scullery. Uh, I, I'm no uh, historian, but I'd be willing to bet that basically for as long as you've been dining in it, I think the dining room has been called the dining room. No, it's the morning room, because you only eat in there in the morning. Anyway, we're dodging the question, and the answer to it is, you're going to be made fun of so savagely, uh, you may actually die from it. Yes. You may actually experience death from how bad the making fun of you is, if you say, if you call your kitchen the scullery. And there's yes. no amount of explaining away that I feel like you can do to get over this one. That's the big one, because I think if you called your living room the drawing room, even your family who loves you the most, they would be like, hmm. Oh, that's weird. It's not, okay, that's fine. And then you call the dining room the morning room. They're probably going to say, do you mean the dining room? But the second you say scullery, it's done. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. done. F f fetch me my pizza chips from the larder. And what are you <laughs> fucking saying? What do you mean? Oh. I, I, I look at houses sometimes to kill the time until I die. <laughs> and um, I was on Zillow. And they, I saw one house that had a room that was labeled popcorn room. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I tried to Google it, and Google had never heard of it. So I don't know. It must just be this person <laughs> saying. Seems self explanatory. Did you look? Were there photos? Nope. No photos. Just a, a one label popcorn room. Mm. I don't know if there were doors or not. I guess there was a door, but it was just labeled popcorn room. Did you you put in an offer, right? I mean, did you go in a little no, bit under I didn't go asking? In. Oh shit! No, I did almost buy a house one time that when I was very young. Except I didn't have the money to do it, but it did have a door hidden behind a bookshelf. Oh, and I've, I've always really wanted that. Oh, if you, what do you think would be the hardest room to pull off saying that you have with a straight face? Because I think it's conservatory. Oh yes, I think that would oh, yeah. be the one that would be the toughest to say. Like, oh, this is the conservatory. That or I think the ballroom. The ballroom is tough. The ballroom is tough. If you say you have a conservatory though, it's just to murder someone in, mm. hands down. Mm -hmm. That's my main uh, sort of familiarity with the room. It's and Which is weird because you're not conserving something. You're snuffing it. For It should be called the snuffatory. Probably sex dungeon. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Um, you know, they also call conservatory solariums. That's even worse, I think. I sense. think you could get away with solarium only because people would, like, if you walked into, you know, sometimes people, like, screen in their back porch or they, like, you know, have windows in their back porch or whatever. If you walked in and said, this is my solarium, I wouldn't know that you're right, but I also wouldn't know that you're wrong, and I wouldn't say anything. You could get away with that. But if you walked me back there and you said, this is my conservatory, I would say, no, it is not. I, the solarium is a room where you watch the George Clooney vehicle Solaris. Yes. That is yeah. the, the main purpose of the, that. <laughs> but don't you, laser disc looping. Don't even fucking think about eating popcorn while you enjoyed the movie. There is a no. separate room for that. And you should know better. You have to go into the other room if you want a salty snack.
My favorite is like how it differs by country. Like if you're in London and you say, where's the water closet? They'll be like, oh, it's right over there. That's but if funny. I said that shit here, I'm getting booed out of town. Um, people are just gonna make fun of me till I cry water down my face. I didn't Ugh. know this when I first, the first time I traveled uh, internationally, I went to Cologne, Germany for a games conference and I didn't know, I didn't even know what water closet was. So when I saw the you know restroom sign with WC on it, I thought like, this is where WC Fields goes to shit. Mm -hmm. I think that they are dead. <laughs> um, and then I remember asking somebody like where the where the toilet was, and when they corrected me, I felt like such a boob because it's a, that must be like if somebody over here was like, "Where's where do you keep your shitter and pisser at? Where I can make where I can make my dirty trash in a hole?" Because I didn't say the good way to say it. I guess WC must stand for worst conservatory. Yeah. This is the worst conservatory I've ever seen in my life. If I ever end up selling my house, I'm going to walk people through it saying, and this is the bed conservatory, and this is the bath conservatory, and this is kind of the living conservatory, uh, and this is the scullery. 